Yo guys, what is going on? Insanity coming at you today with another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer gameplay commentary that I'm going to go ahead and focus a little bit on a topic that a lot of different YouTubers and a lot of different people will talk about each and every single day that Sledgehammer still is really dropping the ball on exactly what this Day Zero edition means for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. How back at Gamescom, they, they pretty much, you know, revealed and announced that the... Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Day Zero Edition is going to be for every single person that pre-orders a physical or digital copy of Advanced Warfare. Now, in the little description, whenever you see that, it's going to be, of course, up to the retailers based on supply and how many they actually have on hand and things like that. And you'll be able to go ahead at midnight to your local retailer, GameStop, whatever's doing the midnight releases for it. Get your copy and start playing it a day early with double XP. That is awesome. That is, you know, showing the fans that we appreciate your money and we really hope you go ahead and put that five bucks down so you can start playing a day early. That's great. That's fine and dandy. Now, the main problem with this entire system is that they didn't make it for a limited time. What if it was November 2nd, the day before, and I wanted to go ahead and pre-order a copy? Am I entitled to get it that night at midnight for November 3rd for a Day Zero edition? Or is it going to be in very, very limited supply like the fine text says and that you'll have to wait till the fourth i think there needs to be a cutoff date sledgehammer games and activision need to go ahead and announce this gamestop needs to announce it let the world know that if you do not get a pre-order in for a copy of advanced warfare you are not guaranteed a day zero edition for november 3rd you'll have to wait till november 4th with that said i mean i just really wanted to go ahead and focus a little bit on the entire process of how the day zero edition is going to be released out to the world i think it's a fabulous thing that uh sledgehammer games is doing for the community just the main problem is is they need to hurry up and try and decide exactly what that cutoff date and what their manufacturing process is going to be for day zero editions because we're getting so close we're, we're just about getting close to that 30-day mark until advanced warfare is going to be released and a lot of gamers need to hurry up and try and decide hey do i want to pre-order do i not want to pre-order do i want to play a day early do i want double xp and so on and so forth and until sledgehammer games decides to go ahead and lay the law down and say hey this is the cutoff day for day zero editions if you do not have a pre-order by this date you are not guaranteed one they're not going to see a small spike in pre-orders at the last minute for this game before it releases let me know down below in the comments down below if you've already pre-ordered your copy or if you're really excited about advanced warfare if you're excited for the new exosuit and all the abilities and of course the new gameplay features that are going to be featured in both the multiplayer and the four player cooperative survival exo survival mode that they call it and of course the ultra cinematic campaign featuring kevin spacey i think it's going to be one of the first call of duty campaigns it's going to be just as exciting as Call of Duty 4 was back in the day. Sign off in the comments down below, guys. Share this thing out. Smack that little thumbs up button. Like it. And of course, subscribe if you're new to my content. I'm Insanity, and I'll catch you all in the next video.